disease has killed more than 100 colonies of coral in Kaneohe Bay since the end of February. Scientists say this outbreak was not unexpected. They just didn't believe it would happen for another decade. As KITV4's Amberlyn Hyden reports, Hawaii's coral reefs face extinction unless we protect them. It's tonight's Hawaii Going Green report. The disease is called acute. Acute just refers to the rapid uh, pace that it kills these corals. Montipora. Montipora is the type of coral that it kills, so the rice coral. White syndrome. This particular disease causes complete mortality or tissue loss. It has already killed more than 100 colonies of smooth and rice corals in Kaneohe Bay, and that's a conservative estimate. The larger ones average about one square yard in size and take about 15 years to grow. To get an idea of the magnitude of the problem, here's a picture scientists took of the coral colony. The left side dead, the right side alive. Within one week, the entire mass died. Corals are living creatures that build reefs, providing shelter for fish and other marine life, so it's important to protect them. If those corals break down, that whole ecosystem will crumble. So we don't want to lose our fish. Dr. Greta Abia of the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology says the disease can spread rapidly when a coral's immune system is stressed. Some things that cause stress include man-made chemicals washing into the bay as runoff from densely populated areas. And just be aware, it goes on the ground, goes in the water. So that includes rubbish, don't use excessive fertilizer. If you, need, if, you, if you really do need to do some pesticide spraying, which we do, you do, but minimize it as much as possible. And we do have a problem with, with overfishing. So it's going to be a little harder for it to recover. Dr. Abey says whether our reefs stand a chance depends on us. What corals need to grow are clean, clear water. They need fish that will eat back the algae. That is the physical environment that our reefs flourish on and will be able to repair under. In the meantime, researchers are looking for ways to control the outbreak. Amberlyn Hyden, KITV4 News.